Good day, creative friends. I hope you're well. It feels like I've been away from YouTube for a long time, but it's only been two weeks. It feels good to reconnect. I want to thank you for all the lovely comments you've left in my last video. I've read them all, and of course, I was deeply touched by your support and your encouragement. Uh, my need to slow down has resonated with a lot of you, and I hope you've had the opportunity to act on that, or at least that you are planning to. Now, these past two weeks have been exceptional in many ways for me. I have treated myself to some of the most immersive creativity sessions, and at the same time, I've had to deal with time-consuming business and life events that have taken me away from the studio. And even in the midst of all that, I managed to seal some time to create from home when I couldn't get to the studio to work in my sketchbook. Um, I was drawing, I was shading, I was patterning. I was completely engrossed in the process. And that can only be achieved because I had peace of mind, because I knew I had the support of you all. I even picked up an old watercolor journal uh, where I have unfinished pages and I've played with collages and gouache. And I am almost done. I only have two pages left in that book. So when I'm done, I'm probably going to do a flip through of that. It's an old watercolor journal that I started in 2016. So right at the beginning of my watercolor journey. So I think this will be interesting to revisit. I've noticed that I've become a little bit more bold in my techniques and my choice of colors recently. I don't know if it has anything to do with my more relaxed approach to my creativity, but using this bold and bright yellow uh, is very much not me. <laughs> and also I have done... Um, some drawings with fluorescent pencils also not my usual colors um, still not my favorite but at the same time i am so happy i have gone through that experience because even though it's not my favorite it was so rewarding to go completely out of character and just just be in the unknown and be completely at peace with it.
Now I'm sure some of you are wondering how I'm doing now that I'm only publishing content every other week. Uh, do I feel more relaxed? Did it help? And it's a big resounding yes to both questions, although the benefits of my decision will only hit home in a few months. The reason being is that I have two major projects to deal with which will not be coming back on the regular. So of course, having one less video per week helps in dealing with these issues, but has this helped my regular workflow? Do I feel more in control? The answer is not yet. Once these events are over, then I'll be able to breathe easier. I kind of shudder to think what would have happened had I not taken the decision to slow down. I've become braver with recording my creative sessions. In the past, whenever I would decide to film, I had this overwhelming pressure to record a full project from start to finish with as many tips and explanations as possible. And while that is still my intention, there will be times, like in this video, when you'll be seeing only parts of many processes. I'm now okay with presenting my work in a more informal way, and I'm okay with things not being exactly the way I've envisioned them. I'm truly okay, and I hope you are too. If I may, I'd like to ask you to join me in thanking the awesome patrons family who are currently sustaining my art and this channel. And please, please give yourselves a pat on the back for showing up here and for offering moral support and encouragement. It means a great deal to me. I will leave you with this quote, be patient with yourself. Nothing in nature blooms all year. Have a beautiful day full of joyful creativity. Stay safe and healthy, and I will be back in two weeks.